these. That's what you can conclude. That's the only well, what, certain yes, thing what you, you can, can conclude is that they recently had sex and they're being set up for <sighs> pair bonding. And they're being set up for pair bonding. Testosterone spikes. The dumbest explanation ever heard. Excuse me. Testosterone spikes after you've had sex, and its role is to set you up for pair bonding. Brenda, testosterone spikes for a shit ton of reasons. It's not the only purpose of testosterone. That's the dumbest thing I've heard in my life. Only. I didn't say it was the only. Did you hear me say only? Okay, I tried to answer the purpose of testosterone, you basically told me I was wrong, and then you yes. gave a single answer, and that single answer is that the testosterone is released after sex for the yes. purpose of pair bonding. That implies yes. that is the only purpose of testosterone. It, that is a no. statement. It, the right. So, the levels of testosterone somebody has, has has very little to do with your with their sexual orientation. I didn't say anything. That's, that's, what a lot of pe that's what a lot of people were sort of implying because Danny is gay. No, because Danny must is have effeminate. We were implying that because he's effeminate structurally. That doesn't mean he's low in testosterone either. And in terms of characteristics and inclinations. Not it's he's possible gay. for an effeminate woman with XY chromosomes to have higher T than a man. Ooh, really? Uh, well, women with XY chromosomes. Relevant, right? it's just whether so what what Brenda just said is it's possible for a whether... trans person to have higher testosterone than a normal male. And that's obviously the case because a trans person I didn't say is trans structurally... Person. The question is the, whether or not we XY could female. see these features and people XY would normally female, have I'm high is testosterone or if we would normally see these features mm -hmm. with somebody who has low testosterone, right? So you would be able to conclude rationally based off of uh, so just Google myths and misconceptions about testosterone. No, Joe, I'm not saying it's true or not, right? I'm Sex hormones have no just developmental Google effect on the body. body. That's, not That's what just, we're just people trying to hurt tranny feel. Don't be ridiculous. That's not what I'm saying. Brenda, what are you? What point are you trying to make here? Well, and He's basically it trying post? to it doggedly. Uh, I'm just trying to correct the, the misconceptions. I'm just that trying to sex hormones a misconception. are, are misconce more related to body misconception. structures or behaviors, which is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. That's well, like the most social justice yeah. warrior deluded. Yeah, I don't know how head. to. I don't know how to refute an incredulous stare. Well, I mean, you basically told the, me that puberty is our imagination. No, I didn't say that at all. What causes puberty? It's, the onset of sex hormones. Yeah. Yeah. In both men and women. Yeah, different sex hormones in those two. Hence the different changes because the different sex hormones yeah, yeah. result in different I understand all that. structural and biological changes. Shut up. Let's stop talking about this. You're an idiot. Done. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But it doesn't follow from that that, that, um, that because a man looks or behaves effeminate to you. That he has low testosterone. It's not like it doesn't work that For way. For purposes of social jokes and teasing, it certainly does, and you're an idiot. Just and I stop. Think it's it. also more likely than not. Uh, why? Why don't you think that a, a phenotypic expression uh, has? Well, we've been no through all this. Ace. I already discussed phenotypes and their correlations. Uh, with both uh, Ace, and, um, masculinity and femininity are just a social construct. Yeah, those are just social That's constructs. True. Don't be That's stupid. True, so, well, I mean, by the way, Claire, I mean, um, I'm going to warn you one time. Uh, you're talking to a fucking mom talking. when you're talking to Brenda, okay? <laughs> I mean, I this is this is no surprise. This is no surprise coming from Brenda, where I just had a discussion. Wait, 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 wait. Brenda, did you get SRS? Is that how you caught this mod? Brenda? Brenda, you are not using performance enhancement, enhancing modifications to your body. For the You're going to go seal up that fake vagina right now and get rid of your mod powers. Brenda performed sexual what? What? favors for... Brenda, I heard uh, I, you got SRS what? just so you could get mods on the server. I'm disgusted. Yeah, that's right. Day. Yes, that's right. That's, that's, that's just disgusting. Way to trivialize the struggles of all trans women. Thank you. That's false. We don't provide, um, we don't give mods to non biological cunts. Wait, Brent's not a tranny? 
Of course I am. Yeah. Oh. I'm I mean, saying that you're, you're implying that that's why she got the mods, but that's not. Wait, does she? No, know? I'm making a joke about the pussy thing on the server. Shut up. Wait, wait. So why? God. Why does? No wants to let me mod. make a joke tonight. I fucking hate you guys. You're, you're fucking trash. <laughs> Hey, so wait, why does Stay 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 an amazing mod? I don't know why we can't infer that Danny has low T. He does. He obviously has low T. And yeah, but Danny's just a totally fucking trigger moron. Uh, I'd like. I'd love to have a. a Shut up, you little stun. whispery spider. I don't care. Well, I mean, we if we say low T versus like the general population, it may be slightly higher. Just but, but if we were to isolate his age. It may be low to versus the population. Uh, I think it, it as, as according to the indications, it's likely. As according to every structural and personality trait and everything else you can observe about Danny, yeah, probably. Pro How tall is he? Does he even know? He's pretty short. He's five. He's five. what? He's quite. Yeah. He's, he's, oh, he's, he's super low test. Jesus Christ, five, Brenda. Four, maybe? Are you trolling again? You don't know that. I do know that. No, you don't. Actually, Brenda. God, who is the author of all truth in the universe, created me with a certain <laughs> knowledge that Danny is low T, and you're a dumb bitch. <laughs> Brenda, do you not think it's likely that Danny is low T? I think it's likely he has high T. No, we, we, we're not saying it. <laughs> Wait, hold oh on, hold God. on. Hold on. So when I say low T, I mean as in comparative to his age group. So. We're not talking yeah, about yeah. him versus like a fifty-year-old. Is it, is it, yeah, is it I think if I think if you, Danny, I think if, if you Danny took had him, high T, if Danny had high T, he'd likely be balding and have gyne, and have gyno. I, I I bet either if, of which if, he has. I bet he has higher T than you, Ace. Sure. Wait, so why do you uh, believe? Look, the, the whole point. Tea. The whole point, though, is that he's I'm very like higher T than me. I just want to. So I just want to know, Brenda, what what led you to believe he may have high T? Because um, he's highly sexually active. That oh. that doesn't uh, he doesn't even take Fonzie, fucking hormones. Yeah, Fonzie, it, Brenda it, doesn't know it, anything it about anything. Do you do you take fucking hormones? Are you one of those faggots that don't? Because there's no court. In, okay, I can't I, 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 I assume no that Brenda's an elaborate troll or insane on account of she willingly so gave herself the name Brenda. In the two thousands, like we stop, that's a dead name. Can we stop? Like, I just want to not muddy this up, but so I just want to. So, what infers from that conditional is, um, if a if a woman sleeps around, she has high tea. Yep, that's what that would imply. Because according to Brenda, the only purpose of testosterone is pair bond. That's all there is. So, I mean, I, I, never, I never said that. Never said that. That's Brenda, actually Brenda, exactly what you uh, implied. I well, said I just, you could conclude that all Brenda, things being. I specifically said to you, Brenda, I tried to make to you a list of the effects and entailments of testosterone when you asked me what it does, and your response was to tell me that I was wrong and say that testosterone is released from sex and causes pair yeah. bonding, and that's it. Yes. And I asked you, is that no, the only I, purpose? I, and you said every yes. Time, you said yes. No I, no, I didn't. Every time you said that, I said that was wrong. Mm, every time. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you said yes. You don't listen. Okay, what are the other purposes of testosterone, Brenda? It's hard to listen to an old spider. I mean, whatever you yeah, are. Yeah. You got that, um, like, no ruby in your voice. From yeah, Warcraft if you're just... You know, blah, 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 blah. We're so, waiting, Brenda. Wait, list Brenda. Of entailments, Brenda. What? Waiting for the list of other entailments for the effects of testosterone on the human body, Brenda. Oh, it closes off your, your epicondyls. Oh, so, okay, what else? Um, it promotes hair growth. Okay. And That's hair cool. loss. Things well, like DHT promotes hair loss more than the uh, test itself, but... Yeah, I admitted all those things the first time around. Mm. No, you, you mentioned hair loss later talking about Danny, but no, you definitely did not add that to your list of entailments previously. That's fine. Can I ask a question then? So, so Brenda, do do you not think that these um, these features that we describe are more likely to indicate T levels than promiscuous? You know, being promiscuous. Yeah, I think the promiscuity is related to high T. 
Yeah, but we you also would agree that low low muscle mass, thin bones, short high voice is also like um indicative of low T, right? Um no, it isn't. But why wait, hold Well he could um a person could be relatively insensitive to testosterone. So it turns out, Brenda, that estrogen also makes you uh well, let's, oh, let's, never Brandon, we're not talking about necessary, right? We're talking about well, they, whether or not. Uh, yeah, for, for one thing, I'm being is. for one thing, I'm being consistently overtalked and shouted down. For another, you know, simply be, it, it simply isn't a one-to-one -one relationship. It's complicated by many factors. So having a high degree of testosterone doesn't mean that your body is necessarily highly masculine. Okay, it simply doesn't follow. Which one? Uh, like, you're, you're biologically, nobody biologically, said it was, though, right. Biologically, yep, you could Brenda. be relatively um, insensitive to varying degrees to the presence of testosterone. So which one's more likely, though? So you've got two unlikely possibilities versus one unlikely possibility. The two unlikely possibilities that you're positing is that he has high testosterone and low sensitivity versus the single well, uh, less likely. Wait, wait, I'm almost done, which is just low testosterone, right? So as you know... Uh, the one that uh, requires more, uh, that is more more specific claim, will be less likely. Well, so well since, it's less, since it's, it's less since likely. Danny is a gay, since Danny is is a small gay man, who who is is a relatively higher voice, but nevertheless is highly promiscuous and is sexually dominant. Um, I would suspect that he is, what are you he is biologically about? he is biologically in, relatively insensitive to te testosterone, but nevertheless has what? No, Danny's the dominant in the part. No, no, you don't know what you're talking about, Dan you Danny. Have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Danny is the dominant one. You fucking retarded. Yes, he is. Not. He takes it up the ass. Well, Danny, a lot of gay, a lot of gay men do. So yeah, the, the point is, the point he's is, the point is that somebody can be. Somebody can be um, relatively up on this? Feminous, feminized um, in, in, in phenotype here. and still have very high or relatively high look, just okay, T look, levels. You ignored my probabilistic Basically, analysis. You ignored my probabilistic analysis. argument is that because there are like instabilities and like borderline intersex disorders that cause you to have like total insensitivity to one androgen or anti androgen to the other. Yeah. And even though those things are like less than a one in five hundred chance, many of them less than one in twenty thousand, that's obviously more logical to assume that's what's happening. It's more like Danny than that he's just a small effeminate boy who has low testosterone because he has a high pitched fucking voice, and testosterone lengthens deepens your voice, lengthens your vocal cords, deepens your voice. Through puberty, it does, yeah. Through what? As in, yeah, as and, in and if you is, if you were to have a completely you bullshitting to, about Danny's uh, sexual proclivities. If you were to, like, somehow remove testosterone after puberty, it wouldn't have a change on the body. That is not true at all. Women constantly have deeper voices from fucking up their steroid balances when they take steroids or over-exercise. It's very common. When yeah, you're right. Think I, my claim isn't... Yeah, my claim's wrong, but what I'm trying to say, my claim would have to be um, that th the, the majority of... Um, the vocal cord, cord thickness is determined through puberty and not thereafter. It can be no, no, to a certain degree, but not um, not not in the same way as in throughout puberty. So, so if Danny is if Danny is um, sexually promiscuous, that would indicate that his T levels are high. Assuming because estrogen makes women yeah, more promiscuous. <laughs> estrogen yeah, makes women more pr promiscuous. So I'm assuming it would be the same to men. No, no. Hey, testosterone. Did you just say ne not necessarily, you asshole? T testosterone increases libido. Both yeah, sex hormones do. That's what I'm telling you, dumbass. Estrogen yeah. also increases libido. Do you libido. think Danny has estrogen? Well, oh, if you no, have he low Does testosterone, he? even if you have the same estrogen level as if you had high testosterone, it's relative to your testosterone level. So if it's going from 125 to 20 and 20, guess which one's significantly going to change the, uh, the way that the human body develops? So um, testosterone increases libido. In both so men does and estrogen. Women. There, and therefore, uh, going by the, my prior knowledge that Danny or a lot of gay men are pr sexually promiscuous, it's reasonable to infer though. 
it's reasonable to infer that they have relatively high T levels. You're so dumb, Brent. That's the first first thing you get off of Google if you Google estrogen. Uh, makes women high levels of estrogen make women feel prettier. I'm not. Feel we're not pretty talking about and are act more promiscuous. Read the whole thing or Holy open it. Fuck. Don't read Couldn't it a third read. of a fucking goddamn <laughs> title. Uh, are we talking about a woman or a man? It says oh, women yeah. right there. What are you talking yeah, about? We're, talk we're, we're talking about a man. Not, not a woman, look down upon. Okay, so are you we're saying talking that? About a man. Are you saying Danny is a that? Man. Listen, hold on. Let me, is Danny a man or a woman, claim, Claire? Brenda, Brenda, Danny, shut the fuck up. Danny, let me unpack this claim. A man, Brenda, are you saying woman. that the sex hormones affect ma uh, natal males and natal females differently, and that? Someone taking the opposite sex as hormones don't receive the same results of the hormones as the people who were born with it, them. It Is depends. That what you're to it depends on it depends on their on the their biology. Some people oh, so what um, you're are biologically that more sensitive to it than is others. It's a social construct and a delusion, and none of these people are actually construct? changing their physical appearances with their estrogen. That what's makes a sense. So, what's a that, social that construct? Oh, all what, the effects of transgenderism. Like, you know, when you go take these hormones for seven years and look completely different, that's all mental, right? Like, that, that has nothing to do with the sex hormones affecting the opposite sex in a similar way they do with the normal sex. Sex uh, hormones uh, affect both sexes identically. Course. They're of what course. determine, Estrogen. more or less, how you deviate from male to female as you develop. We both develop unisex, all humans do, and they develop from their sex hormones to male or female. Yeah, and that, that'll happen at any about... stage. So if a guy has high estrogen, and estrogen makes women promiscuous, it'll also make a guy promiscuous because it does the same fucking thing on both sexes. So shut the fuck up, you idiot. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Oh. It doesn't work that way. If it didn't work that way, then taking tea would make natal uh, women masculine to transition. And if it didn't work that way, then taking estrogen would make natal men more feminine for them to transition. That's the dumbest Claire, thing I've ever heard from a trans... Claire? Claire? It's an insane do, thing. Claire? Claire? Do a lot of trans women take a little bit of tea when they feel that their desire for sex has been very, very low? I have literally no. never heard this is, of this a trans is a, person is, having yeah. testosterone no, not at all. alternating yes. that. This is with, true. No, this is true. Brenda, this is not shut true. the fuck up. Brenda, it is what true. you're actually trying to say is that sometimes for like porn and shit to get a bigger load, like a larger no. orgasm... Porn acting trans people will take less anti androgens no. so that there's a heeny tiny spike in their natural production. So they go from no. like from like ten to nm per ml or whatever no. it is to like You're just... fifteen or twenty. When the normal male is four hundred, and if you were to inject it, you'd be at like twelve thousand. There's nothing like taking testosterone. Hey, well, yeah, well, I'm so, raise. so I'm Brenda. Brenda has has um ha you become more feminine. Right? Yes, Since... because I take estrogen. Estrogen okay, in, um, but, but is that affects it, estrogen affects secondary sexual characteristics. What I was saying is that there are a lot of um, male to females who, after being on hormones for for quite some time, find that their sex drive is very low, and they would like to be more sexually active. So right. they'll ask their doctor uh, for small doses. Consequences they'll of they'll these ask their, why the fuck ha can't we're I talk? Not talking why about the fuck behavior. can't I talk? We're not talking about be behavior and sexual desires here. We're talking about... Yes, we are. Well, you seem to be, but I don't think the rest are. We're talking just about effeminate traits in men. That's all. Originally, saying. originally, this conversation that, started because I, I made a joke that that Danny is low T. That's we were well, having a debate. You should speak because you both have, you both you should know a hell of a lot more about this than me. I do. Apparently not, but Brenda. It seems to me. It seems I do. To me, it seems to me that when a woman wishes to transition, quote unquote, to a man, what does she do? She takes testosterone. Testosterone. What is the result? She becomes more masculine. More, more, more masculine, yes. Right. But it doesn't follow. So, so it wouldn't follow from, from any of just that. A minute, just a minute. Let me reply. Um, the fact that when a woman takes testosterone, she, she increases her um, masculine secondary sex characteristics, it does not follow that because you see a man with feminine uh, uh, a phenotypical secondary sexual characteristics that he has low Low testosterone. 
Those I'm two not, don't follow each other. I'm not interrupting well, Lincoln, Lincoln, that's, Lincoln, that's Lincoln, called, read my Lincoln. Because that's called affirming the consequent. Lincoln Man, regarding your claims about uh, androgen and so my, androgens my, and, okay, and So my claim, my claim was that many trans, trans women who are male to females will find that their sex drive is very low and ask their therapist, their psychologist, for a small amount of tea so they can raise their levels of testosterone and that increase doesn't their happen. sex drive. Cite right. any mean? kind of source. Cite any kind of source whatsoever of this being a practice. Anyone. Find one Person, anywhere on Google. Pers personal experience. Don't, no, I don't want your personal the, experience. Find anyone yes. on Google talking about doing that as a practice. And you are muted because you consistently overtalk me. My experience at the program in human sexuality run by Dr. Eli Coleman and Dr. Walter Bakhtin, who, who have PhDs in, um, in sex therapy, was that, and in my groups, in the groups I had at the, at, at the Department of Human Sexuality at the University of Minnesota, was that we had other people in the group who had low testosterone, they were male to female, and they requested a small increase in their blood serum T levels so that they could have an increased desire um, for sexual activity. Didn't you just say that they, they asked for a... Uh, hey, hey. You just so, said you asked Foxy, for a let me have this. Foxy, let me have this. Again, like I told you originally, Brenda, You're just they do not take Foxy. testosterone. They lower their antiandrogen to increase their blood testosterone level, which is what you just said, you fucking idiot. That's not the same thing as injecting or said. taking testosterone. That's, no, you, asked, you no, said that the, they were going to take, the, they were going to ask that, for a low dose of tea. Yeah, that's and not. That is incorrect. They're just going to drop that's their taking, antigen. Yeah. That increases, yeah, that's taking that less increases. anti-androgen. That's not taking tea, which is what I told you from the start. So can we not do this anymore? So, so Every that, single one of these claims wouldn't you that, made, wouldn't that increase, they're just wrong. Wouldn't that increase the levels of, of testosterone in blood serum? Holy That fuck. doesn't equate to taking testosterone. It's the same thing. No, I'm, it's not. I'm if you inject I'm testosterone, your testosterone levels go to 12,000. You're muted because you keep over-talking me. You need to stop that. I said that I was talking about T levels, about levels of testosterone. I wasn't talking about um, whether or not somebody's taking anti -and It doesn't matter whether or not you, you lower... The, the drug that's suppressing the, the androgens, or you increase the androgens. Either way, the T levels increase in blood serum. You may speak now. So, again, we're talking about a difference of 60 times or so in terms of the size of effect from injecting or taking testosterone externally and just missing a little bit of your anti um, You're shifting the goalposts. Saying they're comparable is like saying, I don't know, an ant and a cocker spaniel are comparable. It's fucking You're retarded. shifting the goalposts. I was never talking about... And again, you were using injections. all of this. More importantly, you were using all of this to support the statement that test makes you promiscuous and estrogen doesn't. And I already just linked you a study. You're wrong. I you read like four times saying that estrogen in every... I'm, I'm muting you. You're wrong. What? Brenda, uh, no. Testosterone, what like? testosterone No, Brenda, I'm going to mute you if you keep talking because Claire was in the middle of her fucking sentence. No, that's, that's fucking bullshit, Brenda. Uh, I'm being consistently overspoken. That's because you can't hear it about and make false no, claims. Claire was in the I do not interrupt. Well, that time, Brenda, you interrupt. Well, she was talking that time, Brenda, and you over talked yeah. her. And you like, okay. But she said so you should let her finish. Fucking sit right. Brenda. If you weren't being ridiculous in the, previously in the conversation, I wouldn't overtalk you at all. But I just lose patience after a certain. Well, that's too bad. Well, control then yourself. Deal with me control being mute. Control yourself. I mean, I don't care if you no, mute me. I am it makes dealing you feel better. It makes you look like a dumbass. But you can mute me halfway through my point. There. That's how yeah, I deal with you. Clear being mod mean. abuse, Brenda's. That's not clear. mod <laughs> abuse. Yes, yeah, it's not mod abuse. That's not mod abuse. I like now. The, now the fact is. 
that testosterone is linked uh, wait, are, to aren't you gonna libido. Let Claire finish the point that you it's cut off? It's linked to libido. Wait, wait, wait. It's wait, also wait, linked to the, things that we would all label as masculine of traits. Of course it is. Muscles. There of you go. Of course it is. Mic drop. But it, that, that doesn't follow that because somebody has uh, feminine phenotypical traits that they have low T. It's Again, more likely than not, is it not? No, I don't know what the likelihood is. It doesn't matter what the likelihood is. So intellectually dishonest uh, in that response. Incredible. Incredibly intellectually dishonest. Right. Brenda, your senality is really sh shining through. Hey, Brenda, do you think it's more likely for someone with uh, Asian descent and Asian genetic to be... Six point uh, six feet eight inches, or someone with like sub Saharan African descent in genetics to be six foot seven inches, or can you not tell the probability on that because they're both technically possible? Well, of course, they are because people who are uh, wow, way to miss my entire question. People who are um, of Asian descent who come to the United States um, gain height because of diet. Oh, oh, fuck. oh okay. Um, so so yeah, when so I take a plane trip from Hong Kong to the United States, I get taller. So therefore, my genetics are no. relevant to my height. Interesting. No. I like that. That was a good refutation of my point. That was really good, Brenda. You're really... That's not what I said. You're an idiot, Brenda. Look, that's not... That's not what I said. Brenda the, reason that, idiot, Brenda. The, the reason that Asians are generally smaller than Europeans is due to dietary practices. No, it's not. You fucking retard. Yeah, it is. No, it's when not. They, when, when they come, when people come, immigrate, hey, 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 emigrate to the United States, their children are taller because hey, they have a better um, diet. They have a diet yeah. higher in fat and protein. Oh, sauce. Okay, right, yeah, right, but is the, average, is the average height of an Asian in America higher, the same, or lower than the average white American? Tell me that. I, I don't know. I don't think it matters. Wait, wait, no, 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 but that's the question. It's not whether or not it matters, you fucking retard. The question is, is are they higher on average, or are they lower on average, or are they the same? I don't know. I do they're, know they're lower, that, they're lower I do average. know that, it's that the children... Genetics, because of fucking the genetics. No, it's not. Yes, it the is. Children, You're the, so children retarded, of, the children of... The children of... Genet uh, just a minute, let me speak. The, yeah, children, ahead, of a the children of Asian immigrants... Are taller than their parents. On okay, average. but are those children? Are Do you those admit children... that? Do you concede that point? Uh, th no, there's no co point to be conceded. That's a fact. You fucking read. Yes, that's what I said. So now, is it a fact that these children who are f of immigrants are they taller or shorter or the same on average as white uh, Americans? I would say that after successive generations, they would they would come to equal. <laughs> You're so um, fucking retarded. That of that You're of so of fucking retarded. Yeah, Brenda, you fucking light sanguist retard. Yeah, Brenda literally will not make any claim that ties into any kind of real. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sorry. What is the? Yeah. It, how she does will make any claim that. that that correlates human traits to genetics. That's that's what I was trying to say. Oh. Like, there's no physical correlation to, to genes well, for Brenda she because she doesn't want to admit that, that she's not physically female but, in the way that she'd but, like to be. But a lot of transgender people, such as Brenda, when they think back at their life, they wish that they had lower testosterone when they were younger or perhaps when they were a child. So well, they that, would of course be they do. less masculine. But that causes people with right? mental illness. So I don't know what you're talking about. So we're talking about Asians now. We're, no, we're talking, not talking about, about Asians, Asians now, right now, and I'm not. Oh, we're, done, we're, we're done with well, you not knowing how the work. Testosterone levels. I just looked it up. Any of you could have. There's lots of studies that show black men have the highest, white guys in the middle, Asians are the lowest. And, and the, the guess study, what? The studies. Um, what the studies is, I've read. The which studies isn't a I've surprise. read, Brenda. Brenda. The guess what? I've read, Brenda. Um, oh, I can say something. Yeah, go ahead. Anyway, uh, the studies I've read, the, the reason why um, uh, Asians uh, are generally smaller on average is because they use uh, chopsticks in their home countries. <laughs>
so anyway, um, have you noticed also that with Asians having the lowest T, white people having the medium, and blacks having the, the highest, there's also a similar correlation in body structure in the direction of height, uh, bone density, and muscle bulkiness. Isn't that weird, Brenda? It's like those things are actually related to testosterone. Isn't that fascinating? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder how that works. Yeah, no idea, though. But uh, I'm just going to keep reasserting well, I, I that, could, that people, I couldn't guess at the probability of it. because People, I mean, people get taller when they move places, you know, so that totally yeah. refutes your point. Yeah, so there's no, there's no estrogen in yeah. Danny. Because he's too short. Because that follows. Anyway, Brandon, you're a moron. I'm really, really disappointed that you're back. I, I miss Kathleen now. Can we you, all are. Can you go get her for me and like replace yourself with her? Yeah, Kathleen's actually kind of fun to. She's talk at least to, entertaining she's sometimes. She's an idiot. She's fucking retarded. But she at least kind of has a little bit of a personality, like a little bit. Yeah, but with Brenda, it's like pulling teeth. I'd be fine. You don't like she, Brenda. She, we she got a better voice too. No, I mean, this is the only. You have to understand, Jovan. This is the only like time I've ever seen Brenda argue any kind of point as an interlocutor in the entire time I've been around. So this is my only sample of her. Maybe she's a lot better some other time, but that was no, fucking no, get, get Claire, Claire, get this. Uh, just about an hour or two ago, and holy, uh, Brenda was trying to argue that social socialism can have private property. And <laughs> it was I mean, fucking, I suppose like, that depends on which of the 10 million like, proprietary versions of socialism you're talking well, under socialism, everything is collectively owned. That's yeah, not I'm necessarily sure there's like true. 800 versions of socialism where that's not the case, but exactly. Yeah, that's, that's, so that's most, point most of that's, that's, that's really true because you can say that about every single other political ideology because they're fucking retarded and they're more special snowflake than like transgender ideologies ever could. Yeah, but I mean, the the whole point is that um, socialism wants an abolishment of private property, and to say that socialism. Oh, I understand. Have... I understand your point. I'm just saying that there's probably like some kind of nonsensical. Uh... Well, if you're considering socialism as a transitionary period, then you could say, okay, yes, during this transitionary period, there, as property is being abolished, yes, there's still going to be some private property around. But as soon as socialism has been instituted and it's like capital S socialism, there's no private property. Unless well, it's I some mean, like special that's snowflake that, definition. Well, that's assuming that you're ever going to go to that full extent. And the special snowflake editions are always lesser implementations, but I don't think that yep. they're progressive. I don't think they're trying to move towards true socialism like you're talking about. I think that they're happy with their limited implementation. So technically, those would be socialist ideologies with uh, private property, but that just means that they're less socialism. So you could, it, so you could say that the trait of being a socialist um, philosophy or outlook inherently and necessarily decreases the amount of private property belief or ownership that you think there should be, but it doesn't necessarily prevent it altogether. I think that'd be the more accurate. Yeah, but I'm just saying when you have reached a state of socialism, there is no more private property. Like a true state of socialism. I mean, uh, if you're considering uh, socialism as this transitionary period or these transitionary well, governments, socialism, then yeah. Though, like, like Marx socialism? Yeah, defined by, yeah, as Marxism. Okay, yeah. As, guys, with Marx socialism, that's comparing. correct. Yes. What's going on here is there's an equivoca equivocation between social democracies like Canada and the Scandinavian countries and a, yeah, and a, exactly. and a democratic uh, socialist government, right? Or, democratic you know, Brenda, it, it's so just 14 clear, other types of It's just pretty clear Brenda has no idea what uh, she's talking about. I mean, obviously... I I honestly I hope that she was trolling that entire conversation. I hope I, I got super. I trolled. wish. I I know better that she wasn't. I've never heard a tranny argue that <laughs> there's no dimorphism in the sexual and yeah, structural. That's that's a straw in, man. In, I never argued that. You strongly no, implied that we were unreasonable to conclude. No, I didn't. Anything about other people's yes. hormones based on their structural yes. morphological appearances. Yes. And that's an insane thing. Yes. Yeah, that's because you're insane. You're that's an insane mean, person. Well, that's, you're that's, mentally just Ill. that's just incredulity and personal abuse. 
I mean, that's all you no, have. There's ever. well known correlates. Just lighten up there. once. Now, just because somebody might hold an erroneous view or something you disagree with, you don't have to. You don't have to throw those personal insults at her. Yeah, it's, Brenda, wrong. Brenda, it's Brenda, not erroneous. Well, Brenda, they have not, not been able to do anything. They have not been able to have any kind of argument against you. They haven't. They haven't. They haven't raised a counterexample at all. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. So, if you look at, say, someone working out uh, at Laguna Beach and they're like, you know, pushing 300 pounds and look like a bodybuilder, would you just say it would be unreasonable to make any sort of like belief claim based on their um, hormone levels? Well, look, they've obviously got low T yeah, and please. high androgen sensitivity. You know, they're, they're, nice. you know, Come on. You're not Brenda. All right, all right. Sheesh. I'm just making Brenda's dumb argument. Come on. I mean, androgen sensitivity, high androgen sensitivity, and low. Yeah, Ace, what are you doing? The fuck up. Hey, they didn't take their super male vitality. All right. Well, let's hear it, Brenda. Let's hear what. You got asked a question, retard. Uh, I, I, I doesn't even I know don't over you. Ten, nobody can remember after you fucking won't stop what talking. Go ahead, Tom. No, hey, just can't stop talking. For 10 hey, fucking stop, seconds? Tom. Go ahead. Are you guys fucking gold. Hey, stop. Stop. All right. Go ahead, Tom. I'm. I'm not gonna do it again. I'm. I've got my hands full. Can someone just repeat? The yeah. yeah so if somebody uh, not uh, Ace, Ace, so Ace, shut you up. See, Ace, <laughs> you see a body? <laughs> look, I'm. I'm. I'm repeating Tom's question. So Brenda, if so, the question was addressed to me. Yeah, I'm re-asking so the, the question, question because you have you, you don't know what I'm it was. I'm not responding to you. Why not? So shut I'm up. Asking, I'm asking you the question. I will not respond you. to you because Why you're not? not staying appropriate. Wait, what do you mean I'm not staying appropriate? <laughs> appropriate. It's like it's like a retarded tranny Darth Dawkins. I love it. Don't don't oh, get on this shit. Literally the exact to the dialectic. Come on, guys. Um, I, I'm Claire, sorry, is I'm to stay, to Claire is to stay with muted the, until she with apologizes. The contention. With the contention <laughs> that Brenda suggested that some... Um, Claire is to stay muted until she apologizes for the insulting remark. There's literally remark. no way I would ever apologize to you for that. Claire is to stay muted until it's she so apologizes for okay, her offensive remarks. Let, let's get back to the question, Brenda. So, you're I don't Laguna talk Beach. to you. Shut up. You're in Laguna Beach. You see a fucking bodybuilder benching fucking a bunch of weight. Does that person have what? Low T, high T? What do you think? I think you can't know. <laughs> You're so fucking retarded. You have to qualify amazing. high or low T and I'd do so by comparing that individual to say Danny standing there. The little little little, little guy. Little feminine guy. It, who has more testosterone, Brenda? The little feminine guy, feminine guy, or it's possible. No. It's possible. possible. Therefore, you can't conclude likely. which one is more likely. Likely, yeah, it's not irrational to think the bodybuilder is going to have more testosterone. You don't you would, know. You'd be a fucking retard to think. You might not know, otherwise. but you generally, that's you know, that's pretty rational, right? Why was she unmuted? And and, and likely super physiological levels of testosterone. Look, you don't Brenda, know, Brenda. You, Brenda, you're not going to keep abusing your fucking mods. I'm not. You are. Why, why, wait, wait, why that are you, shit. Who cares? Why are you okay, player? fine. She made an wait, offensive Brenda. remark. She called me okay. a tranny, so that a, and she's that been mutable, insulting to me. Hey, 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 you can't mute people for that. Why well, can't I mute her for that? You can't mute people just because they insult you. Oh, man. Yes, I... The, Ace, Ace yes. why are you unmuting people? Tranny. Your mods are only to use for yourself, Ace. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. So is this tranny well, going to be there? So anyway, you can't like use that you kind of language. Just the, just the to, act. You can't just, use your mind. Hey, wait, wait. Let your mom finish. Brenda, can, calling can somebody a tranny is, is equivalent to using the N-word. And can therefore, I not say I think tranny? I should have the right. Brenda. Brenda? Uh, yes. No, you can't. It, I think that's I, the only thing using the N-word. Who are you to tell me that I can't? No. Brenda, no. I'm an intersex person that's transitioned twice, so I have twice the right to call you a tranny versus someone. You're a tranny. Stop it. 
Claire, can, you, can we just stop? Can we just yeah, stop that bullshit. Can we just be nice to each other and just talk Most about Most of it has no. to do with we me. Have to, we have to use I, didn't even, I didn't even call her a tranny as an insult. I was yes, saying you, that... Yes, you did. No, I was saying that you were Darth Dawkins, yes, and I was did. differentiating yes, you, you from Darth Dawkins by saying you were a okay, tranny well, social justice warrior version of him. Listen, listen, versus the reason, a yeah, the whole apologetic sentence, Darth Dawkins. Hey, this might be a generation thing. It's a generation thing. Fred interprets it... Brendan like, interprets it as an insult because tranny is supposed to be a guy to yeah, has gone. Right. Um, can I, here, let me just talk to Brendan. And she's... No. Brenda's gone. No. I don't understand why some of y'all are more concerned with, like, throwing insults. If you really want to humiliate Brenda, just actually, you, the best way to do it is just be as nice as possible and show her, show her where her... Reasoning is flawed. That's like it's not capable of apprehending like her reasoning no, is flawed. No. Well, the thing is, is that she shuts down when you throw stuff like the word tranny and stuff like that. Good. And that's yeah, not good. you can't handle being on the, being on the yeah. internet. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Daddy, well, what that you don't understand look, the, is I was trying to shut it down. That if your goal is to demonstrate my goal was to Brenda to be an idiot, then calling her transgender or trans tranny, I'm sorry. Is antithetical to the goal. Now, if you yeah. just want to insult no, her, fuck that tranny. Danny, let me respond. Let me respond to this, Danny. You just came in here, so you don't have the full context of this conversation. Like an yeah, hour ago, I made a joke. Not finishing his sentence. Like, what I, are you responding to? I'm responding to what Danny just said. Yeah, he didn't he finish. finish his sentence. I, I stopped talking. Yeah, the the, the the idea is that I don't know what your goals are, but if your goal is to humiliate Brenda, then I don't think that calling her a tranny is the way to do it. May I respond? That's all. Now? Yeah. Yes, that was what you said last time. Thank you. Okay, so about an hour ago, I made a joke about your testosterone levels. Ever since then, Brenda has been arguing circularly and nonsensically, trying to say that there is no way that you can have an opinion on someone else's hormone levels based on their physical structure as a person. You know, their, their, their sex traits, their size, their mass, everything in their development. That's what she's been arguing. I originally treated it like she was a human being that should be discussed with, I you know, made semi-evidentiary arguments. I linked her a couple things. I quickly lost patience and wanted to shut her down because she was retarded and dragging a, a, you know, a two-second joke into a 50-minute conversation. Was I've been trying to shut her down. Hour That's ago? the fucking point. Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, if I, don't, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't know what your goal was in the last 10 minutes. Was it to just assault? No, it was to shut her up because I don't want to hear her ramble incoherently about things she has no idea. Okay, what she's so talking about. and insulting was a means of doing that then. That yeah, was the only means because trying to discuss it with her previously only made her do it more. Yeah, so we just have different goals that I, I, I'm not interested. And what I find mostly most funny about this conversation is the word tranny wasn't the insult that I was trying to use. I was using tranny as a descriptor, like a neutral descriptor. I was comparing her to Darth Dawkins because of her argumentation and her methodology. And Darth Dawkins is a Christian presuppositionalist, so I called Brenda yeah. the tranny social justice warrior version. Yeah, but of Darth I don't Dawkins. understand what you're trying it's to say. Not a generation. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is dumb. Her this generation. Is dumb. Stop. You know that she doesn't like the word tranny. You know that she doesn't like being called tranny. Obviously, she was, she's going to be adverse. And you know, trannies normally in general don't like being called trannies. So you using the word to describe her as such. I wasn't describing her. Was, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. I was talking to about what you're, you're either being irrational or you're just being the her way that Darth Dawkins discusses. Just call her transy. No. When someone uh, says trendy, Darth Dawkins is a Christian priest, oh like, 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 like Claire, if I, if I describe Batman, Batman as a fat fuck that believes in Christianity, as a I was saying that Brenda debates the topic of hormones, which is a tranny social justice warrior topic. You could say in the way that Darth Dawkins would debate. That's all I was saying. I wasn't even calling her a tranny. I was saying that she was using his argumentation in that arena the same way that Christians use that retarded logic in their arena. That's all I was trying to do. That's the only comparison I was trying to make. I was categorizing the type of discussion as tranny. Anyway, she, not the I'm person. just trying to explain why she takes it as an insult. Well, that's to tranny. suggest. That's to suggest that she's a man. Dressed up as a woman because well, that's, that's what it means to uh, that's the generation gap in the language, right? No, it suggests that she's right? a man transitioning to a woman, which is factually correct. Well, she's a if, if by man we define it by her biological sex and her chromosomes, yes, she is a man, 
right? But she sees herself as a woman. So no, when you if, call her a tranny, you're undermining that and suggesting she's not a woman, but she's a man dressed up as a woman. So you get it? Here's the thing. She's transitioning. So I'm not going to lie to her and pretend that she's not transitioning simply to be nice. That's retarded. If you're transitioning, tranny is a slang word for transitioning. And if you didn't start as a male no, and have not. to transition it's to it. female, no, what, it's the not. It's what do you think the root of tra yeah, tranny true. is? What the, what the hell? Tranny, T-R-A-N-N-Y, transition, T-R-A-N-S-I. it relates to the word transgender? It, yeah? Are you serious? It's a slang word for transgender, literally based on the word it, transgender, literally, directly mostly, based on the word historically transgender. Historically, it refers to cross-dressing. No, right? the word tranny came about after the word transgender. Oh, well, maybe, no, transvestite, oh, you might be right. Yeah, I'd, I'd, have to I'd, have to, I'd have to Google it to see which one. Well, for a while, right there, you to talk about people see, you just, you, see, well, transsexualism is just, old, too. It's like you the You just 50. hang yourself with your own rope. There you go, see? See, so, so now do you Wait, get, Claire, why you, she you, you, finds it I've, I've always gotten it. I don't know why you think I'm okay, confused. I just go. don't care. Like, why are you confused about this? I do not care. I am not moved by the fact that Brenda doesn't want to be called a tranny. It doesn't matter to me. It's irrelevant. Well, you were, you were pontificating about why she, she, why no, she I, feels I never bothered about it. I never did like, pontificate. Why the hell should she feel no. bothered Wait, about why that? Was Jerry, yeah, why was did. Jerry can't No, Ludic, I wasn't upset or confused about it. I don't think she should be able to mute people for it, but I was never confused as to why she was irritated. I thought it was hilarious. I was not. Nor did I express confusion on any level or in any sort of way. So obviously, well, you you did. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call Brenda. When you thought it out, you thought, "Wait a second, the idea of transgenderism no, is newer Ludic. than than the idea of a of a, a transvestite." No, Ludic. Right? I sat there for a minute realized. thinking about how old transgender, transsexual, and transvestite, and I realized that there is maybe a couple generations on transsexual for the word transvestite, but it's not much. Transsexual was like 1900. So I don't really think you can make a clear well, claim as to which someone like yourself, as to right? Which, as to which term right? tranny comes from. It could see, be see, from transvestite. See, it could be from transsexual. I, there's no way for you to know. You're, you're transsexual, right? No, I'm no. intersex. Or intersex, right? Yeah. Um, right. Brenda is transsexual. Right, the, the idea of transgenderism as we know it now is really fairly new, dude. It's like we're talking well, sixties, seventies, right? Uh, well, later than that. Trans actually. Trans are in the recent. fucking Bible. Trans Not transvestite. Trans yeah, yeah. We're yeah. talking about Ace. We're talking about when transvestite, transsexual, and transgender specifically developed as terms, and the entailments of which one is being referred to by the word trans. Which I don't think there is a clear answer to. I think it's a term, right? Yeah, it's, it's they're they're both tranny. It's a it's a class. Exactly. Yeah. Transgender is the umbrella fucking term. Right. And transgender is the most umbrella term of all. But both transvestite really? and transsexual. So a transgender in encompasses a transvestite, a guy who likes to dress up in yeah. women's stuff. And it, and it encompasses really? transsexual, yeah. Really? There's lots of macho according dudes to, who like uh, that shit. According like to the modern the definition. SNM type shit, they just like to dress up as women and have sex. And they're masculine men. Are they transgender? <laughs> it's considered a form of transgenderism no. by a lot of modern well, social Transvestitism, words. definitely. I, I wouldn't consider that transsexualism, Ludic, but transvestitism, certainly. Right, and she doesn't like to be thought of as that. That's because it's like because that's sincere, to say that she's not a sincere. real woman, and to her that's upsetting. Well, how is that entailed by calling someone a tranny? Which again, I did not actually do in this particular conversation. I would like to remind you, but I'm just going to keep arguing for the sake of curiosity as to what you're going to like rest on for a final apology for why it really matters to call.
if, I, if don't, I don't give a shit, and I don't. It, I'm trying to explain to you why it bothers her. That's all. Well, you guys will be trying to explain to me why it bothers someone to step on a pin. I I know I'm not retarded. Like I don't know why you think you need to explain this. Yeah, I mean, I'm calling Brenda a tranny because she says don't call her a tranny. I I, I wasn't calling her tra tranny. I was telling no, her was. that I she was, was arguing tranny topics in the way that DD would argue Christian. Yeah, exactly. And she shit herself because she's an idiot. I, I mean, it's true. That was, that's almost exactly what she's doing. Yeah, yeah. She literally uses the exact argumentation. It's amazing. Right down to the uh, deciding when people can talk. Well, now you're on my troll list, then you can't talk to me. You apologize to me. <laughs> Shut up. Is that, is that your impression? That was my Brenda Darth Dawkins impression, yes. Yuri, Brenda what Dawkins. Do you, Yuri, what do you mean? What is the DGH bot? What does that mean? Is that in here? What's he talking about? I don't think Yuri's in chat right now. He says, can we get the DGH bot? What does that mean? No, he's, not, he's, not, he's on V. He's not in VC right now. I, I understand. I already looked at I'm explaining to you guys what I'm talking about. He says, can we get the D -A DGH bot? What does that mean? You going to see if it's like a popular bot or something? What? No, it wouldn't I be. Haven't found one. I haven't found one at all. No, it it wouldn't be popular. It's Star Wars great, greatest. Oh, series. okay. Tomer seemed confused, so I thought maybe the person was just asking for like a newly released general. I think Yuri's about to respond, so we'll see what he means. No idea what this means. <laughs> 10,000 kilovolt trannies, cold fired power station. Transformers. I think we should just call all trans my, people my, Transformers. My uh, father was an electrician, or he's in. I think what, what she was, how she interpreted what you guys were saying is that you were saying that gay men have low testosterone and i, I think she was just she did just, take that she did that's probably I, how she interpreted it when they show i gay right i suspected that was so. the case i specifically asked her if that was the case and i specifically addressed that she continued to argue that in general everything about danny no trait could indicate that he was low T. Not the fact that he was short, not the fact that he has a high pitched voice, none of them. Not just that he was no one insinuated the fact that he was gay was the reason that we thought he right, was low but she, T. But she was she was making her demarcation at, or starting point as to the label you applied to him as being a gay man, right? Sure, but we quashed I'm that. I'm pretty no, sure that's how she the first we addressed that well, notion she, within the first four area, minutes of a, or she didn't hour and get a half conversation or something. Well that seems likely, yes, because she doesn't get much. I mean, that's trivially true. Obviously, she didn't get what we were saying. 